Hi folks, I sincerely hope you're doing okay right now. Uh, in this video, I'm gonna take an idea from my friend Adam Gibbs and share some announcements. Historically, my channel has been for uh, tutorials on a variety of Photoshop and photography and image developing, uh, developing topics. But these are different times and I felt like I had some things that I could share with you that might be worth sharing. So I apologize, I have them written down here, so I'm gonna be doing a lot of reading. Uh, I don't wanna miss anything. Um, so thanks for tuning in and here's some things I'd like to share. And I'm just gonna start off by saying that, um, you know, as I record this, the world is surpassing 500,000 cases of uh, COVID-19. And we're really just still at the beginning of all this. Uh, as I'm sure you know, there are 150 million Americans, at least uh, hundreds of millions of people in Europe and Asia, and 1.4 billion people in India that have been asked to stay at home to try to slow down the spread of the virus as much as possible. So please do that if you can, stay at home. Um, it's the one thing that we can all do to help slow this down and do our part. I know a lot of us had plans to be on photography trips or going to workshops or conferences for photography. And most, I would assume all of those have probably now been canceled for the foreseeable future. But fortunately, photographers are a creative bunch, and at this point, we still have access to the internet. <laughs> so uh, I hope that continues. And I just wanted to let you know about some online opportunities that we have as photographers in this community for staying connected, educated, and entertained while we stay at home. So I'll link to all of these resources down below and I'll also throw up a, a link or a, a card up here when I can. First off, I just want to let you know that I had a great chat with my friend Alistair Ben, who is uh, just extremely talented and insightful as a photographer and as just a, a wonderful human being. Alistair and I have been friends for, for many years and it was great to be able to have a talk with him on his expressive photography channel on YouTube. He started a new conversation series of videos he's calling Vision and Light, and it's conversations with other photographers. His first episode features Adam Gibbs, and in the second episode, Alistair and, and myself have a conversation about the role of image developing in the creative process. So, I, it, like I said, it was a great conversation to have with him, and you can check that out right here. I uh, hope you enjoy listening in on our conversation. Um, make sure to subscribe to Alistair's channel. He has a ton of great content uh, of all different types of uh, you know, education, philosophy, and just wonderful imagery. So I think Alistair is probably one of the most creative landscape photographers that I know working today. So definitely go give that a check. I also want to point out uh, that Photo Cascadia now has a YouTube channel and it's where we are housing our new um, kind of video talk format for the blog. So the blog on the Photo Cascadia uh, website, which is available to, uh, to all of us who <laughs> want to pass some time, has a decade's worth of articles that we have been writing as a team on all sorts of photography topics and it's all there and it's all free and available. It would take you probably uh, weeks to read through <laughs> the entire collection of our articles. But this year we've started a new um, video conversation format called The Wide Angle with Photo Cascadia. And in episode one, which is already out there, it's uh, Aaron Bobnick and myself just kind of introducing The Wide Angle talk show. And episode two is gonna be coming up on March 30th and David Cobb and myself talk about photographing in forests. So make sure to subscribe to the Photo Cascadia uh, YouTube channel so that you get notified when that new episode and other episodes down the line come out. I also wanted to mention Shutter Monkeys TV here uh, on YouTube, which is the channel of my friend Ian Plant. And Ian is just the consummate 
uh, artist and professional photographer. And his channel, Shutter Monkeys TV, has all kinds of really entertaining and educational and enriching content. Um, he has image critiques, which are, I find, just very helpful and useful. He has uh, travel logs of his adventures, tutorials, and also conversations with other photographers, uh, including one that I had with him a couple of months ago, which you can get to right here. Um, photo pills. A lot of us know about the photo pills app that helps us plan for where the sun, the moon, and the stars are going to be any place where we want to be photographing and plan out our photo shoots uh, based around those light sources. And uh, my friend Rafael Pons, who is the bard of photo pills, they have an amazing YouTube channel with hours and hours and hours of tutorials showing you how to use the photo pills app. And right now, while we're all here stuck at home, you can be using the PhotoPills app to plan out uh, shoots and photo, uh, photographs that you want to take in the future. So you can plan for the days when we can all get back out there again. And uh, anyway, so great use of time right now to tune into the PhotoPills channel and get better at using the PhotoPills app. Uh, sadly, um, the pandemic has forced the cancellation of this year's photo pills camp, which was coming up in May in Spain. And I was scheduled to be an instructor there. I was really looking forward to it. I heard nothing but good things about how much fun photo pills camp is. But Rafa has assured me that they're going to do everything they can to get the camp back in 2021. So stay tuned for that. Um, out of Chicago Live. I don't know if you've heard about this yet, but my friends at uh, the Out of Chicago series of workshops, they've been doing wonderful photography workshops all around uh, the United States. They're now, they're kind of mobilizing to quickly put together an online conference because they know all of us are at home and that's really the only way that we have to access something like that. So, uh, the Out of Chicago Live Online Global Photography Conference is scheduled for April 24th through 26th, and it's a chance to immerse yourself in photography, inspiration, and learning. It's going to have three days of live presentations and over 100 interactive uh, sessions, including panel discussions, tutorials, individual photo challenges, and group image reviews, and you get to learn from over uh, 60 world-class professional photographers. So you can go to the Out of Chicago website to find out about and register for Out of Chicago Live, which will be coming up in April. Uh, the Nature Photographers Network, or a lot of us know it as NPN, is a great resource right now. Um, and always. It's one of the longest and I think best online photography communities in existence. For the last couple years, it's been run by David Kingham and Jennifer Renwick, friends of mine, great photographers, great people. I first joined NPN over 15 years ago, and that's where I first met many of my colleagues of today, including most of the members of Photo Cascadia, and also people like Tony Kuiper, Guy Tal, Mark Adamus, and Adam Gibbs, plus many, many more. So. It's really a vibrant, great community. They have photo critiques, uh, photo sharing, online forums for all kinds of discussion and wonderful educational articles written by uh, some of the excellent photographers. And uh, they also have an Ask Me Anything series where photographers for 24 hours answer questions that come in from the community. So go check out NPN. Uh, again, linked below, and when you get there, let them know I sent you. All right, I guess the other thing I want to talk about right now is other YouTube photography-related channels. There's lots of them out there. YouTube's uh, really proving to be a wonderful resource for all of us uh, because of what's there and available if you know where to find it. Now, because you're watching my YouTube channel, you probably are already aware of a lot of these other channels that I'm going to mention, but if not, you know, there's probably a few in there that you haven't heard of that you'd appreciate knowing about and being able to get connected with. So I'm going to just kind of read through them here quickly, flash them up on the screen. 
uh, but I'll have links to all of these channels down below. So go check them out. I would say years worth of quarantine uh, content that you can watch. Uh, we're not going to be hopefully stuck that long, but if you had to be, um, all of these people have so much great um, entertainment and enrichment available. So I already mentioned a couple times my friend Adam Gibbs. He's got a wonderful channel. Uh, Photo Tripper, Gavin Hardcastle. Uh, if you know, you know. And if you haven't watched Gavin's videos, check them out. Highly entertaining, humorous, but also really a lot of good content and education there. Um, Michael Shane Bloom, wonderful stuff. Nick Page, of course. Many, many people follow Nick. Uh, the F64 Academy with Blake Rudis. Joshua Cripps. Um, really, he's got a big channel, lots of great content there, and Josh is um, really entertaining and, again, just a wonderful teacher. Uh, Tony Kuiper has a YouTube channel with videos on how to use the TK panel. Erin Bobnick has a channel. She's still working on, um, you know, developing more videos, but there's a few videos there, and I'm sure there will be more there soon. Um, Mark Denny, great stuff. Photo Joseph, uh, it's my friend Joseph Lenachki's channel. Uh, all kinds of great uh, tech reviews and um, just how-tos, discussions, and he does live shows from his studio. So those are really great to watch. Of course, Thomas Heaton, one of the biggest and uh, longest running photography channels. Uh, David Johnston, Paul Thompson, Eric Paré, Matt Klaskowski, Julianne Cost, great Photoshop and Lightroom tutorials. She's really one of the best, I think maybe the best out there. Uh, the Russell Brown Show with Russell Brown. If you haven't checked out Russell's channel, highly entertaining, really good stuff. Uh, mods Peter Iverson, Greg Snell, Ben Horn, and Simon Baxter. And like I said, these are just a few of the channels that are out there. There's many, many more uh, in the photography genre. These are the ones that I know about and that I have enjoyed and find really entertaining and valuable. Okay, so finally, uh, I just want to say that whether it's illness, loss of work, isolation, mental health, or other impacts that you know we still don't even know are going to happen yet, uh, we're all going to be hurt by this, but some of us are going to be hurt more than others. So it's more important now than ever for us to come together, uh, look, out for one, uh, look out for one another, and help each other. Uh, for that reason, uh, my wife Jennifer and I are pledging 25% of our income from my photography courses during the crisis to the Oregon Community Foundation and other organizations that'll be able to uh, best support people who are gonna be in need and who actually already are in need, many of them. Now, I just wanna say this is not a promotion or a sale. We're simply pledging to donate some of our income to help others. And it won't be much, but it's one thing that we can do. And we're gonna be looking for other ways to try to do even more. And more than the financial contribution, uh, we're just hoping to encourage and spread a spirit of giving, loving, and helping, which we hope will swell in the days and months to come. And we all have different circumstances and different capacities to help. Some of us are gonna need more help than we'll be able to give in return, and that's okay. But if you can, Please do, in whatever way you can, please do whatever you can to help. So all these small things and all these small ways that people can help are going to make the difference. So my thanks go out to all of you who are helping or who will be helping. And especially I want to just say thank you to the heroes who are working in healthcare right now. Uh, boy, I can't imagine. And the service that you're doing for all the rest of us and the sacrifice. I just say thank you. So that's all I have for now. Thanks for tuning in. Um, stay tuned. More to come on this channel and all those other channels that I've mentioned. Make sure to check them out, subscribe to them. And uh, for now, just take care of each other. May you be well, may you be healthy, and may you be safe.